All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today we are going to be doing, I guess, a kind of triple showcase for the three newly Extremes The Awakened Android units on Global, the AGL, LR, Android 17, and 18, as well as the uh, Int Hellfighter 17, and also the uh, AGL Trenchcoat 17. Now, real quick, before we get into the gameplay, I want to go over their EZA details, so if you guys happen to already know what they do, then feel free to skip ahead about like a minute or two. Alright, so starting with the LR first, their leader skill is all types key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 80%, their 12k super attack raises attack and defense for one turn, causes colossal damage, and lowers attack and defense, and then their 18k super greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage, and lowers attack and defense. Their passive is attack and defense plus 78% when performing a super attack, extreme class allies key plus 4, and defense plus 50%, plus an additional key plus 3, and attack plus 78%, and launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when attacking super class enemies, and then finally, super class enemies defense minus 78%. And as you can see, their links are pretty close to maxed out. This was the best I could do over the last couple of days, and uh, it should be very similar performance to a fully maxed out uh, 17 and 18. Now, for the uh, L Fighter 17, his leader skill is Int and Fizz types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%, super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy, and passive is Attack and defense plus 120% plus an additional defense plus 120% when performing a super attack. All allies keep plus 2, attack and defense plus 25% plus an additional attack plus 170% when there is another ally whose name includes number 17 attacking in the same turn. And just like the LR, the links are not maxed out, but pretty damn close. And finally, the trench coat 17. AGL int types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus uh, 90%, super attack raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and greatly lowers defense, and passive is attack and defense plus 120%, plus an additional attack plus 120% when performing a super attack, all allies key plus 2, attack and defense plus 25%, plus an additional defense plus 170% when there is another ally whose name includes number 17 attacking in the same turn. So those are the three EZA androids. This is the android team we're running today. And the event is the uh, fusion warrior stage of infinite Dragon Ball history. So on this first rotation, we have the Hellfighter 17, the Tech 17 and 18, and also a little bit of support from the uh, Android 13. So the 17 and 18 starting with 188K, uh, the Hellfighter starting with 151k, and why don't we just uh, swap these guys here, put him in the front to deal with those attacks, and we'll give him a couple of orbs, doesn't really matter too much. Let's try to get some tech orbs for the 17 and 18, there we go. And let's see what the Hellfighter can do here. So obviously taking double digits from the normal, the super is going to do nothing because he dodged it and four mil just over four mil attacks that for the uh hellfighter 17. now the hellfighter is actually not really known for his damage um the trench coat 17 actually hits quite a bit harder but as you can see he still does more than enough damage over four mil i think it's very very good and his defense after the super I don't know the exact calculation, but I believe, I believe it should be over, it should be like 300k basically, like around 300,000. So yeah, he's a very tanky unit. You don't really have to worry about him defensively. And now on this rotation, we have the LR 17 and 18, who's starting with 108,000 defense. Obviously they get a lot more defense after they super. So uh maybe we'll do okay let's put the lr android trio in the front first and then we'll get a full 24 key super 
for the 17 and 18, and uh, one orb for the 13. Now I haven't used the trio in a long time. I don't think they're gonna do that well defensively. I was right. <laughs> they took 150k, but of course they are a fairly old um, LR at this point. I'm really hoping they get that Extreme Z Awakening sooner than later because this Androids team is just so good, man. And uh, yo, once these guys, the Fizz LR, gets that Extreme Z Awakening, oh my god. Okay, hold that thought. Hold that thought. <laughs> 7.2 mil. <sighs> oh god, they hit so hard. They hit so hard. Um, so yeah, that is that is what the 17 and 18, the LR Extremes the Awakening does, guys. Of course, it's only against super type enemies, so you can't really expect the uh, same level of performance if you're facing uh, extreme type, because they're, they're attacks that will take a pretty massive dive. But, I mean, there are a lot of super type enemies in the game, right? So as long as you take them on events where you know you're going to be fighting majority super type, um, they're going to be doing some crazy stuff for you, man. Okay, so this might suck. This might really suck. Because we haven't supered yet, so his defense is not going to be as high as it could be. There we go. And uh, still good attack, of course. Just over 4 mil. But the, de the defense, the tanking, um, was not as good. Uh, about 5 mil for the 17 and 18. I'm excited to see what the uh, trench coat 17 can do here. Let's see it. Yeah, okay, so close to 5 mil. Close to 5 mil. So his defense is actually not as good as the Hellfighter 17 before super, but, or sorry, after super, after super, but before super, he has more defense. So I guess. The AGL-17 is better as a slot 1 unit because he gets more defense to start, and then the uh, Hellfighter-17 is better in the second or third slot because he gets even more defense than the AGL-1 after the super, if that made sense. I'm not sure if my explanation was extra clear, but uh, there you go. Alright, so on this rotation, we could pop the active skill for the 16, which is something I haven't done in a long time, but I think I'm gonna leave it for now. Let's try to get one more nice super for the uh, easy ALR, and then after that, the next time we come back, I'll pop the active skill, and uh, we'll see the Android 16 do some good damage. Yeah, man. Once this LR GT, so why, why do I keep saying GT? Once the LR Android trio gets that Extreme Z Awakening, this team is going to be off the charts. So it's going to be like easily one of the best teams in the game. I mean, it, it already is. Realistically, it, it already is at this point, I would say, one of the best teams with the three Extreme Z Awakenings and also the Tech 17 and 18 Dokkan Fest. Like for me personally, it's got to be... I mean, right now, it's my favorite team in the game. Right now, like no question, this is the team I enjoy running the most. Um, it's just really good, man. It's really, really good. So we got the transformation for 13. So unfortunately, we're not getting support anymore. Um, let's see. Why don't we put the 17 and 18 in the first slot? Give them some nice orbs. That's a bit of healing right there. Uh, 289,000 defense. And then... We'll put the uh, Hellfighter 17 in the second slot where he really belongs because he gets much more defense once again in that second slot. Okay, so at this point, I feel like you guys have seen, you know, a good amount of what these EZAs can do. Ooh, we got sealed. Yeah, a good, a good amount, you know, have a good idea of what these EZAs can do. Um, all of them, honestly, are very good defensively. The AGL one, the AGL 17, is the best first slot unit because he gets somewhere around like 250k defense before super. Whereas the LR and the Hellfighter will get like anywhere between like 250 to upwards of like 400,000 defense 
after the super. So it really depends on where you place them. And uh, oh, we can't transform anymore. Hold on. What's the condition for the 16 active skill? Uh, oh, we have to be below 66% HP. I see. All right. So hopefully we can get that again, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen. And I'm actually going to put the trench coat 17 in that first slot. As you can see, 243,000 defense, free super. And uh, we'll just give him, I want to save these actually, but I don't think we can. All right, let's give these to him. Doesn't really matter. Uh, let's give these to the AGL LR and then we'll give these to the Fizz LR. Okay, there's a dodge. Obviously, 69, nice. 5.1 mil attack. That's the highest we've seen so far. Oh, damn it. <sighs> I wanted to see both LRs uh, attack. Or not both LRs, the, just the both uh, Extremes the Awakened units get a super off. Because I'm sure the AGL LR would have gone over 7 mil again. Um, I've seen even higher numbers on different teams, but for this team, we're pretty much expecting around 7, 7.2. And I, I don't know about you guys, but to me, that's good enough. You know, to, to me, I think that's more than adequate. <laughs> um, yeah, so there you go, guys. That That is... I mean, I know a couple days ago, I put out a video saying, like, this is the new and improved Andrews team. But well, that was wrong, because at the time, at the time I didn't have the LR 17 and 18 Extremes Awakened yet. So this is really, like what you see right now, this is the new and improved Android's team. No question, you gotta include the three easy A's, because they're just way too damn good. Um, as you can see, yeah, the Hellfighter 17 tanking extremely well uh, after the super. And... Uh, yeah, man, Androids is just fantastic right now. Like, I don't know what else to say about them. They're so much fun to run. They hit so hard. And, uh, I mean, defensively, like, almost everybody on this team is a very good tank. Like, this guy's going to do okay, I think. And maybe not as well as I I, I thought <laughs> he would do. I, I, I thought he would actually tank a little bit better there. All right. Um, so in this situation, I'm going to, hmm, should we heal up? Here's the thing, I don't believe that, uh, we're gonna die if we get supered, so, actually no, what, what I think's gonna happen is we're gonna kill him, we're gonna kill the Vegito before he gets a chance to super us again, so I'm not too concerned, I'm going to no item it. And let's just see what happens here. Okay. And 6.19 mil. Of course, we're missing the support from the 13 since he transformed. But still, some very good attack. And Vegito's dead. There you go. Yo, we are absolutely crushing this event. We're crushing this stage. And it's not like one of the older stages. This is literally stage 15. And the highest stage on Global right now is 16. So it is supposed to be one of the more difficult stages of uh, Infinite Dragon Ball history, and we're just rolling through it like it's nothing. Let's do this. There we go. Don't have to worry about any attacks this turn. And uh, let me just, let's see how many tech orbs we can get for them. Okay, that's gonna be seven. Or rather five tech orbs, two rainbow orbs. And that's gonna be a 18 key super still. Oh, we got a token attack. I should have given that to the Hellfighter 17 since we're showcasing him and the two other EZA androids. You guys already know how good the Dokkan Fest androids are, right? We did a showcase for them. They're insane, especially uh, at close to level 10 links, which is what these guys have. I don't think I showed you guys, but yeah, um, I got them close to maxed out links. I think I have three level 10 links. Everything else is level eight or nine. And uh, yeah, they, they do really well. Oh, Fighter 17, double super, 4.1, followed by 4.3. Not bad. Not bad. 
and Vegito is almost dead. We should be able to finish him off, and I think that's the last stage. No, never, never mind. I'm wrong. Uh, the last stage is the uh, Gogeta, the Super Gogeta stage. All right, so the trench coat 17 should kill him now. And then we got Vegito, who I think is is right, just like the LR. All right, there we go. There we go. Okay, so. I'm a little bit concerned about the 13. His defense is not terrible, right? 200,000 is actually quite good, but as you, as you guys saw, you know, a super can still hurt quite a bit. Um, that's okay. We should, we should be fine. We should be fine. And of course, we got type disadvantage with the 13, or sorry, the uh, Hellfighter 17, but I trust his defense after he supers a lot, so no item required. Let's just roll with it. There we go. There's a super. We got eight orbs. So we should be over 800,000, or not 800, uh, 300,000 defense. And solid. Not that solid. <sighs> so uh, yeah, guys, this uh, should be over soon. Overall thoughts of the Extremes the Awakenings. Mad impressive, man. Mad impressive. The only, uh, I guess, con of these EZAs is that there are some conditions you have to meet, right? Like, for example, for the 17s, the trench coat one and the Hellfighter 17, you do need to have another 17 on rotation. Otherwise, they are significantly less uh, impressive. They do either significantly less damage or they get significantly less defense. So, you really always want to have at least another 17 uh, on rotation with them and together they actually make a great rotation so if you have both they don't want to use the other 17s in the game then just run them together and they're great and uh, also for the lr 17 and 18 you got to be facing extreme type right or sorry super type if you face extreme type then they'll get a lot less damage so that's also another Thing to keep in mind, but overall, just amazing extreme sea awakenings. There's uh, not much bad you can say about them, and uh, I just love this Androids team, man. It, it's legitimately my favorite team to run in the game right now. Like it's just, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. Back to back supers here, 5.1, 5.3, and I believe the LR will finish things off, which is very appropriate this is gonna do 85k there oh hold on i thought we had seen their highest attack stat on this team apparently not <laughs> apparently not dude wow um eight mil plus we, we broke 8 mil on that super right there. That's crazy, man. That That is absolutely insane. This is a free-to-play LR, guys. Free-to-play LR, and they're doing numbers like that. I mean, what can I say? What can I say? Um, arguably better than some of the summonable LR Extreme Z Awakenings out there. I think some people would say that they're more impressive than Intel Arc Ohan, <laughs> then yeah, I think I see that argument. I see that argument because they're damn. Even though LR Gohan can get higher attack if you give him like a lot of orbs, these guys will consistently give you these big numbers between six to eight mil. And uh, defensively, they're actually better defensively than Gohan after Super. And uh, I've heard some people say they're better than like. AGL Majin Vegeta, I can see that too. I can see that too. As long as you're facing Super Type, they might be better than Majin Vegeta's Extreme Z Awakening, which is crazy to think about. It's crazy to think about, but yeah, it might be true. It might be true. Like, they really showed a lot of love to the androids, which I'm very happy about because I love the androids. 
Um, I've been looking forward to their Extreme the Awakening for so long, and the wait was absolutely worth it, guys. Absolutely worth it. And of course, we can't forget about these guys. We can't forget about these guys. Really, really good stuff from uh, both the um, both the non Dokkan Fest 17 EZAs as well. These guys are going to be a staple on all of my Androids teams because not only do they hit really hard and get a lot of defense, they're also both supports. They both give all allies key plus three, or sorry, key plus two attack and defense plus 25%, which is just a nice bonus, right? So, um, definitely, I mean, this is probably going to be the Androids team I run with this guy's the leader and then the Hellfighter 17, the Trenchcoat 17, uh, of course, Tech 17 and 18, and then the LR 17 and 18, and uh, these guys for their support. Hopefully, we get that Extreme Sea Awakening um, sooner than later, so that they can also just, you know, do some ridiculous damage, and also, more importantly, get some better defense, because their defense really doesn't hold up too well right now. But, uh, yeah, guys, I love this Androids team. Easily my favorite team in the game right now. I know I've said that a lot, but it's true. I want to make sure you guys are aware, and uh, that's it. Yo, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about these three extremes, the Awakenings, the AGL, LR 17, and 18, the Hellfighter 17, and also the Trenchcoat 17. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.